Thanks for buying Radio Shack's outgoing messages. We're sure you'll enjoy using them as much as we enjoy doing them for you. The voices on this tape have been specially prepared to get you more messages. And now here's how to use them to your best advantage. First, using any standard cassette player, listen to the Radio Shack outgoing messages and then choose one. Notice that three seconds before each voice, there is a cueing chime. The chime indicates that you have three seconds before Radio Shack's outgoing message starts. Then in a quiet place, record Radio Shack's outgoing message from the cassette player's speaker into the microphone of the answering machine. You can personalize your message in several ways, either by inserting your voice before or after the Radio Shack outgoing messages. This way, people will know that they have reached you and not a wrong number. You can experiment with the distance between the cassette player's speaker and the answering machine's microphone for best results. A distance of three to four inches with a medium volume is recommended. Remember, Radio Shack's outgoing messages will work with all types of answering machines, single cassette or loop, regardless of the make or age of the machine. And your Radio Shack store offers a complete line of accessories for your telephone and your answering machine, including various lengths of endless loops and incoming cassettes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Radio Shack's outgoing messages. Hello, I'm Gal, the house computer. I will take your message just as soon as I'm finished with this intruder. There. Where were we? Oh, yes. Please, leave a message. Hello. If you are calling with something to sell, press 1 and hang up. If you are calling to collect donations for your worthy cause, press 2 and hang up. If you are calling with a once-in-a-lifetime offer from Ed McMahon, press 3 and hang up. The rest of the world should leave a message. And you, sir, are you or are you not associated with people who do not answer their phones? Sir, I am not. But isn't it true you screen all your calls? Senator, my client is unable to answer that question at this time. Order! Order! Please leave a message at the beep. What have we got here, nurse? Phone call. Two rings, maybe three. We don't know. Pulse or tone phone? Tone. Are they still on the line? We're hearing faint breathing, doctor. There's a chance, then. We've got to try. Come on, you. Leave a message. Hi, I can't talk right now. The dog is chewing the remote control. Get him. Get him off the sofa. Smith passes to Johnson for a three. We're taking a feeding, Sarge. Tonight's winning lottery numbers are one. What would you like to do, caller? Hang up on we. Hello. You have engaged high-tech answering machine built in Russia. Please to take out paper and pencil. Write down name, number, and brief message. Put in mailbox. Machine is broken. Nastrovia. Hello? Oh, darn it. Hang on. I'm coming. Hang on. Oh. 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 Maybe you should leave a message. Listen, this is not a good time to call. I'm right in the middle of... I can't talk right now. Leave a message. Hi, you call it a bad time. This phone machine of yours is an antique. I don't know if I can save it. Motor's so old, you sound like Elmer Fudd. And when's the last time you changed your message? The Nixon administration? Leave a message. That'll be $400. The occupants of this dwelling are unable to speak to you. All messages are being forwarded to another galaxy. Leave your name, number, and the century you called. Your attempt to communicate will be returned as soon as humanly possible. <laughs>